Hello, I'm Maria Fee, and I'm the project director for the CHEO project. A Department of Labor Round 2 grant funding initiative. The CHEO project, Consortium for Healthcare Education Online, consists of eight community colleges across five states, with Flathead Valley Community College being one of those very important partners. The CHEO project's primary objective is to redesign online and hybrid courses in the allied health fields at the community college level. There are three very specific targeted populations um, under DOL's guidance. That's TAA eligible, veterans, and low-waged earners. CHEO's impact will result in better wages and um, through stronger skills by developing stackable, latticed, and articulated degrees and certificates, we will and are transforming traditional learning using innovative technology and delivering it through online and hybrid courseware. NANSLO, the North American Network of Science Labs Online, is a remote web-based lab experience for students. There are very specific performance benchmarks to which we are obligated through the Department of Labor and we have promised to um, allow over 3,000 students to participate in at least one of the 67 redesign courses. Over 2,000 students will gain credentials in those allied health fields. Nearly 2,000 will actually enter into the workforce and uh, 2,000 just under will gain wage increases. This is a $14.2 million, almost $14.2 million grant initiative. Flathead Valley Community College is making a significant contribution to this effort and will serve more than a thousand unique participants. Um, 767 of those students will complete credit hours and 382 of those students will earn credentials. Over 300 students will be employed after completing their program of study and over 730 students will, will receive wage increases as compared to pre-enrollment. The CHEO programs at Flathead Valley Community College include a pre-health certificate, radiologic technology, healthcare office management, medical assistant, and paramedicine associates degrees. These are being supported through course enhancement and student support. Pre-health certificate is a new program developed through CHEO and was designed to provide students with a broad set of knowledge and skills allowing them to explore different health career opportunities and preparing them for immediate entry into CNA or EMT positions, as well as prepare them to continue on to more advanced programs in their field of choice. All courses are currently under development and will be ready for enhanced online and hybrid delivery by fall of 2014. Purchase with CHEO funds, the learning space technology allows for simulation-based learning experiences for both face-to-face -face and online students. The system is installed in both nursing and paramedicine labs, and CHEO faculty have already started incorporating it into their classes. In addition, Flathead Valley has ordered a mobile unit which will allow the use of this technology across campus and in life-life simulations outside of the classroom. We are very excited about this new development. And Associate Professor Chris Long agrees, stating the CHEO grant at Flathead Valley has provided us with the opportunity to enhance our courses in innovative ways and provide students in CHEO programs the support they need to be successful. Julie Wenz is the instructional designer for the CHEO project at Flathead Valley, and Julie has been very busy supporting online development of courses learning the learning space piece, and working with Nanslow at Great Falls College at Montana State University. 
Carrie Bolivar is the uh, CHEO career coach for Flathead Valley, and Carrie too has been very busy. She's working with students and CHEO staff, identifying those eligible students, building relationships with employer partners, and connecting with the career coaches across the consortium to best support CHEO students. The CHEO project is designed to develop a um, interactive career hub. It will be housed online, where a place where students can go and build portfolios, work with coaches, investigate various allied health fields, etc. This is another piece that we're extremely excited about and anticipate rollout to be um, in June of 2014. The project also has a website. You can find it at chioproject.org. Here you'll find all the breakdown of the benchmarks across the consortium. You'll find fiscal reports, newsletters, a program uh, status, all of the things that could help you be able to message this project with your community partners, with faculty, and others that may play a role in this particular piece. We're also using innovative ways to um, connect and support people across these five states. And uh, this social networking site called a NING, N-I-N-G, is a place where instructional designers and career coaches can go and they can um, tap into the knowledge and expertise of their peers. They can ask questions. Um, this is a place where they can post articles and best practices, etc. The design of this project is to use Creative, creative Commons licensing to, to um, allow for open educational resources. So each of the courses that are developed under CHEO, um, the CHEO initiative, will be available for free in a repository that's yet to uh, be established. The Department of Labor is working with the Creative Commons group um, in order to make sure that this piece of the, of the project um, rolls out smoothly. We're very excited about this and believe that it could change the face of higher ed education. CHEO at Flathead Valley Community College. Changing education, transforming lives. Thank you so much.